Alright folks, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this easy spotlight animation with no masks. Check it out. Alright, so to start off I have on the stage here a static text field and I'm going to break it apart twice using modify break apart or command B. The first time gets individual editable characters and then if I do that one more time we have shapes. Now if I select a gradient fill with all those shapes selected each shape or character is going to be filled with a white to black gradient and that's not what I want. So I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool and I want to make sure that lock fills here is selected down in the lower left of the toolbar and I'm going to click now on just one letter and now one gradient is going to span across those multiple shapes. I'm going to jump over to my gradient transform tool which is hidden under the free transform tool and when I click on this word now, you'll see that I can edit that gradient. And let me just grab it by its center point here. And I'm just going to edit the gradient so that it sort of fills in like two or three characters. All right. So I can sort of see the T and the L have some white or gray in them. I'm going to go to the first frame here and I'm just going to move this gradient. Uh, we'll start it right there. And then I'm going to go to the last frame and I'm going to click on frame 60 and I'm going to hit F6 to add a new keyframe and I'm going to take that gradient fill and move it over to the right here. I'm then going to right click to add a shape tween and now check this out. We have that gradient modification being animated all right because all we're doing is animating aspects of the fill all right. We're not doing a classic tween on a symbol. We're doing a tween on the actual shapes all right. So What's next is we'll take the stage, we'll switch it over to black, and then now if I do a command return to export a little swift, there you have the easy breezy spotlight effect uh, that was made without doing any masks, all right? I love it. So if we're happy with that, we can make this thing sort of loop by, you know, let's say do this. We're gonna take this first frame and I'm going to option drag it to the right a bit and let's just go out to frame number 90. So now the last frame is a copy of the first frame and I can right click and do create shape tween and now I'm gonna have it pulsing back and forth. So we have this little spotlight or maybe it's a searchlight going back and forth. So pretty cool, huh? Again, no masks and I did it like in two minutes. So check it out, hope you enjoyed. Hey, what's up? Real quick, if you liked the video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to get notified when new videos come out, just click that little bell. Ding dong. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll read every one and do my best to help you. Have an awesome day.